I've been asked, how do we recover all of the solvent that we use to perform an extraction when nobody else in the industry seems to be able to do so? There is some solvent pressure left in some of the tanks that are not opened. But when we open the dryer tank to access the extract, we have to recover even the vapor pressure from that, as well as the column that held the plant material. So when we take the column off of the extractor tank or evaporator tank, there's a wafer valve that was created by me to give a low profile valve that seals this tank so that you can open it up. So if I open the wafer valve, you can hear pressure inside of the tank. But when I close it, I can remove the column and this large volume of vapor pressure is held intact. And this tank is not opened and neither is the solvent delivery tank. This is the recovery tank, by the way. And the dryer tank is open, but the other tanks are not. So the only tanks I have to recover the solvent vapor pressure from are the dryer tank and columns. So those two tanks have to have the vapor pressure recovered. And the automation system takes care of that for me, but if I wanted to do that manually, I could as well. The bottom line is when we open a vessel, there's no solvent, liquid, or vapor pressure in the vessel, and we have no solvent loss.